What's up everyone? Today I wanted to show you how I go from using a pick to using my fingers kind of in one seamless transition. You see a lot of players do this. Everyone kind of has their own way of doing it. I just want to share exactly what I'm doing technique wise to go from, you know, some finger pick thing and then immediately kind of the pick comes out of nowhere and you can go right back into picking or vice versa. You go from picking right into finger style. So the process here, um, which I'm showing you, maybe you have seen other ways of doing it. Again, there is no one right way. And this goes for every technique ever. If someone's telling you this is the only way it's done, it's just not right. Like some people can eat a lot of cheese and some people fart a lot when they eat a lot of cheese. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's different for everyone. Um, so I just want to show you what I do here. We're going to get in real close on the pick tuck is what I call it because we're really just tucking that pick away. So let's dive in. So a couple things are going to come into play here. First and foremost, how you're holding your pick to begin with. Um, I generally hold it with these two fingers. So my pointer in my middle and then my thumb on the back or just the straight up thumb and pointer. Um, now the way that I am going to transition from pick to tuck it away, there's two stages. The first stage is just the initial tuck to get the pick out of the way. And the second stage is putting it a little further back so that I have control over all of my fingers. Starting in phase one, I'm just gonna start here like I'm picking the guitar, right? This is how I hold my pick. Um, maybe I have my middle finger down as well, but mainly I'm just gonna have that pointer and thumb grip. Now. We need to get the pick out of the way because we want to move to our finger style, but we don't want to have to throw the pick down. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the first stage or phase one of the pick tuck. And all we're going to do for this move is we're going to pass this pick right here to our middle finger and we're going to tuck it in to our little finger cave or whatever you want to call it, right? We have these two creases here in our finger and you're just going to have that pick being held right there in that groove like that. Now, this is phase one, right? We're going from here, here we are picking, strumming, whatever, and we're gonna put that pick right there in our hand. Now, the main concern here is once it's phase one, look, I can't really have much dexterity with the middle finger, right? Because it's really stuck holding that pick. So right now I have all my other fingers moving, but I can't use my middle finger because it's holding the pick. So we need to do something about that, and that's gonna be phase two. Now, all we do for phase two, check this out. I'm gonna use my pointer finger now to hold the pick back. I'm gonna transition from a grip like this to basically wanna, we wanna end up like we're holding a cigarette really far down, almost in that first, in between that first crease in our finger. Now, what the nice thing about this is when it's down lower here in our fingers, now when I go to play, look at this, I have full use of all of my fingers individually, and I'm just lightly holding it. You'll see it sticking out of the back of my hand as well. I'm just lightly holding it here to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. If you're enjoying this lesson, I wanted to invite you to check out my website, thedonutdoctormusic.com. For just 10 bucks a month, you have access to every single guitar lesson I've ever made, all of my master classes. You have a monthly live stream with me, um, classroom style, so we can all interact and hang out. Um, so many more things available, including full length lessons and tabs. So I'll see you there, link is below. Now, when we transition again from phase one, which is here, to phase two, I do one of two things to help get that pick down to phase two. Sometimes I get lucky and I just literally will flatten out that pointer finger and boom, it's stuck in there nice and tight. Sometimes it's a little high up, like you see this transition was a bit high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the back of my thumb to push it down a little bit and really stuff it in there, okay? You want it basically as low as you can go without it bottoming out to your actual palm and, and becoming an issue there, right? So again, let's start just, we're strumming, we're playing, we're playing. We want to transition. I'm going to do this really slowly. First thing, help, maybe I use my thumb to help me get it into that first stage one groove. Now, if you're just going to do some really quick finger slap thing with your pointer finger to get like a, a slap sound, maybe this is all you need to do. You just need to keep it in phase one and then you can transition right back to the original grip. 
But say we're gonna have to do some finger style stuff. Again, here we are in phase one. I'm gonna use that pointer finger to grab it between these two fingers, maybe use my thumb to push it down a little bit, and now I'm in finger style territory. And again, if I wanna transition back, super easy. I just take that pick right back out from where it was. Um, there's a couple ways to do that. Um, sometimes I'll use my thumb, kind of flick it out of there, and I'll grab it with just my middle and my th uh, thumb, and then transition to the pointer. Um, or if it is, let's see, if it's really stuck in there, sometimes I'll scoop from underneath with my thumb and flip it around and maybe end up using the side, right? This is if I have point negative one seconds to transition. So let's just do this really slow together just so you can see what I'm doing again. So I'm strumming, I'm strumming, transition. I'm gonna use my thumb maybe to help me get into stage one. And then we go to stage two, just flatten out that pointer finger and maybe push a little lower with the thumb just to make sure we have access to all of those fingers here. Going back, I'm just gonna grab the pick and start picking again. Now, if I'm doing this quickly, it's, it's actually quite tricky without holding a guitar in my hand to show you this doing it quickly, but um, show you quickly, here's the move fluidly. So I'm strumming and I'm going. Now I've transitioned, strumming, boom. You'll see that it kind of becomes one fluid motion. I go from here to here very quickly, okay? I'm not thinking about it like here we are, step one, step two. I try to make that whole step one and step two one fluid process. So I'm picking, boom, boom, now I'm ready to go. Boom, now I'm ready back. See that transition? Um, I'm sure there's other ways. Again, there's no one right way to do this. Um, I just, I've seen so many people explain it in so many different ways. It's, it's quite fascinating. So maybe you take this as a springboard. Um, I find that when learning and practicing things like this, the key is really not trying to think about it. And I know that might sound kind of counterintuitive, but the more you think about it, the more it's gonna be like, if you're walking down the sidewalk and you think about walking, if you're like, cool, I'm gonna use my left foot and then my right foot and then my left foot in front of the other, you start to trip and fall, right? So when you're doing this move, just think about first, how to just get the pick out of the way enough so that I can just use one or two fingers, maybe my pointer and my ring. And then when that's comfortable, say, okay, cool, how do I get it to a point where I can use all of my fingers like this right? Full dexterity of each finger without the pick falling out of your hand, right? Um, and you'll realize that the more pressure you put here, the more limiting your hand is. So you want to find a good little home for your pick where you are comfortable using all of your fingers um, and even practicing like just like this to make sure it's not going to fall out. Um, super handy, super easy. So when you're trying to practice this on guitar, start both with the pick already pre-hidden and maybe you're just doing some finger picking. <laughs> and then transition to going back to your pick. Same thing, but in reverse. Start by strumming, and then work on that transition tuck, step one, step two, and now we're in finger picking territory. And again, make sure that you have use of all of the fingers. Right, I have just as much dexterity right now as if I didn't have to pick my hand at all the pick, same thing. Right, so the main thing here is just getting it to become an unconscious thing that you're not thinking about. So you don't have to go, okay, cool, now I gotta think about transitioning from the pick. It'll become such a part of your, just extension of your body, honestly, that you'll just start doing it without even noticing it. Um, even honestly, before filming this video, I had to really sit down and think about it. I filmed myself doing it without thinking about it first and was like, what the heck am I doing? Um, and now that I've started thinking about it a little too much, it's starting to get to my head. Um, but I'll use this all the time, especially on stage live or in the studio, um, because there's so many different great sounds you can get out of the guitar. And a lot of times people think, well, when I'm holding the pick, it's all gotta be pick. Or when I have my fingers, I don't have a pick, so I can't really transition between the two. But especially in like blues lead playing, if I'm going, maybe I want to go like, use just my two fingers here to get that slap feeling. And that's where I was saying, I'm going to stay in phase one, where I just tuck that pick here, right? Because it's a little faster than doing the full tuck. And if I only need one or two fingers, then I don't need to worry about doing the full tuck. So for example, tuck, 
track. Or maybe I want to go from a lead line right into a rhythm part. Right, so every time I'm playing rhythm, the pick is fully tucked, as you can see, versus when I'm doing lines. So again, make this your own technique. Um, it's going to be unique to you no matter how you do it, no matter how many times I show you what works for me, might not work for you. Always keep that in mind. Um, let me know how it went in the comments below and happy pick tucking. <laughs>